bro. No, I, I know you got gotta have a question. Huh? I know you got You don't got nothing to do today. You're off tomorrow, and I know you just got off today. You're not? I'm about to go ahead and just hold money right now. Well, you know, I'm going to let you know, man. This wicked New Year's thing that they bought it, you know this is not New Year's. Yeah, nice. That's why I ain't even coming out here, man. I got money to make, you know what I'm saying? I just can't, I'm moving, I'm still in Vegas now. Yeah? Yeah, I'm from You know, we got a camp out there, right? Stay in Vegas, so we got a camp out there. Yeah, they be on the strip all the time. Okay? Yeah, all the time. here for the money, man. I ain't here for the party, you know what I mean? Hey, be here for that life. Right, right. Because that right there, that's going to stop the police from killing us. That's going to stop black on black crime. That's not going to stop nothing. That's not going to stop nothing. You know what I'm saying? Until we gotta, we gotta change our mind. One so scripture, right quick. Give me Psalms 19 and 7. Psalms 19 and 7. Psalms 19 and 7. Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. Read. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law of the Lord is perfect. So God's laws is perfect. When God's law says, keep your beard. Keep your beard, right? The word say keep your beard. What the white man say? You got to shave your beard to be presentable for work. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the word says, you see what that brother got on? The word says, wear fringes in the bottom of your garments. You see what we got on? The word says, what fringes in the bottom of your garments? But the world say, nah, keep your shirt regular. You know what I'm saying? We the only people with this. We the only people with beards. Well, supposed to have them anyway. You know what I'm saying? We the only people with locks in our hair. We the only people that's gods on the earth. You know what I'm saying? Only thing is, the law of the Lord has not been perfect with us. So the law of the Lord is perfect, read. Converting the soul. That converts our soul. Because guess what? If I love my neighbor, as I love myself. I am I going to kill my neighbor? I am I going to fight my neighbor? Am I going to have sex with a bunch of my sisters, get them pregnant and then leave them off to have single parent homes? Most of us grew up in single parent homes for that very reason. We don't love ourselves. And because we don't love ourselves, we constantly, constantly always fall into the same cycle, same cycle. Right, right. We got brothers that's out here that's losing their mind. Half of the dudes walk around here with that jail style mentality and having their pants around their behind. Half of them effeminate. We got masculine females. Don't none of them will wear a dress. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. All of these things happen to us for a reason. Right. The slavery that happened, it happened for a reason. The fact that we get killed in the street, it happened for a reason. You know that was prophesied in the Bible? Yeah. That we would get killed in the street right. and they would get off not guilty? Right. Zechariah 11 8. What? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. 11 5. Yeah, 11 5. I'm going to show you that the Bible prophesied what would happen to us as a people. Zechariah chapter 11 verse 5. Watch. Now, when we was in slavery, we were somebody's possession, right? They owned us, right? Watch what the Bible said. Whose possessors slay them. Our possessors slay us. White man slay us. Chinese man slay us. Right. African man slay us. Read. And hold themselves not guilty. They hold themselves what? Not guilty. What happened to Trayvon Martin? What happened to, 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 to um, Anton Dubois? Mike Brown? You know what I'm saying? The dude that happened in Baton Rouge. None of the police officers went to jail. None of them. None of them. You know what I'm saying? None of them happened to go to jail. But they had some black cops. They killed some people. All six of them went to jail. All six of them. You want to know why? Isaiah 42 and 22. I'm going to show you. Bring it up. Bible has been taught to us by money hungry pastors and lying white people. But this same Bible, you ever saw Birth of a Nation? Watch that movie, bro. Watch that movie, bro. That's a new movie, right? Yeah. It's about us. It's about um, Nat Turner. You know what I'm saying? About how he rose up, actually stood up for his people. I'm about to get it right now. You know what I'm saying? Read that. Matt, uh, Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 22. But if, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. We are people robbed and spoiled. We get everything took from us. Everything snatched from us. Read. They are all of them snared and holes. Snared and holes. We got welfare. That's a hole. 
child support, that's a whole. With food stamps, that's a whole. Government assistance, that's a whole. Section 8, that's a whole. Working these dead end jobs that we all gotta work, that's a whole. Read. They are hid in prison houses. They are hid where? In prison houses. How much? How many? How many white folks they got up in two lane right now? Besides the workers, you know what I'm saying? Not many. I give a 5% max and I'm being gracious. You know what I'm saying? This Bible speaks about us. The same slavery that we went into, oh, it was for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got kids? If your kids do what you ask them to do, what they get? But they get rewarded, right? Yeah, they get rewarded. You know what I'm saying? You give them a task to do, and it's like, if you do this, I'm going to get you this. And they do that task, and they get that reward. But if they don't do it, what happens? They get punished for it. Same thing with us. God is our Father. Not the Father of everybody. Just the people on this side. He's our Father. So our Father said, look, if you do good, I'm going to bless you. But if you do bad, I'm going to curse you. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, we did bad. <laughs> like we continue to do today. Look at our people. Look at how we walk around. Messed up. Half us drunk, high out our mind. You know what I'm saying? We more worried about turning up than turning around. You know what I'm saying? That's true. But you know there's a justification for this, right? You know that, right? Every single thing that happened to us, from them feeding us to alligators, using our baby as alligator bait, keeping us down, lynching us, right. burning us, using our bodies for postcards, all that's coming back on them. Two times over. Right. Give me Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. Bring it out! Watch, watch what the biblical, like you always hear people, when a black man gets shot down by the police, they say, I want justice, I want justice, I want justice. This is real justice. This is God's justice right here. Read. Revelations chapter 13 and verse 9. Uh -huh. If any man have an ear, let him hear. If you got ears, use it. If you got understanding in this Bible, use it. Read. He that leadeth into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity. Shall. Read. Shall go into captivity. Who led us into this captivity? First it was the Arabs and the Africans sold us across Africa. That's how we ended up on the East Coast of Africa anyway. I mean the West Coast of Africa anyway. Because we fled from Jerusalem, ran right into Africa. You want to know why? Because we were dark skinned. We can hide among other dark skinned people. But when they came to us, and when we came to them, the Arabs and the Africans looked at us like, oh snap. We could sell these people. They captured us, sold us across here, and then they sold us to the white man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, those people that led us into captivity, they're gonna go into captivity. That's right. Three. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Everybody that killed us with the sword, the police killing us, the slave masters killing us, just the transportation from this part of the earth to that part of the earth alone costs a hundred million lives. A hundred million. Not everybody on the bottom of them ships made it over here. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody made it over here. A hundred million of us is at the bottom of this sea right here. But everybody that did that to us, they must be killed. Not probably, not maybe, not might. They must be killed with the soul. That's it right. has to happen. That's biblical justice. That's, That's right. God's justice. No other justice. I'm not looking, I'm not gonna get killed by a white man and then go to a white man and look for justice. Bring it out! Why that look? That like you killing my cousin and I'm coming to you asking, well, what my justice at? You know what I'm saying? No justice. And that's what our people fail to realize. We would never, ever, ever in this society get justice. Ever. Ever. We would never get justice in this society. Until we turn our life around. We gotta refrain our minds. We gotta reform it. Give me 2nd second chapter uh, 13 verse. What's that? 14, 34? 14, 34. Second address. 
chapter 14 and verse 34. Therefore, if it if it so be that ye will subdue your own understanding. We have to, first we have to subdue our own understanding. Because the first thing we've been taught was we African. I know you heard that growing up. You know what I'm saying? We went ahead and said we from Africa. That's what they taught us in school. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you come from Africa. Oh, your people come from Africa. Where at in Africa? You know what I'm saying? What country? Out of all of them tough African tribes and nations, how come not one of them came over here to free us or to help fight for us? If we brothers, how come none of them Africans came to America yet? All of the Africans I see come to America, they start businesses in our neighborhoods to take our money and then they bring it back to Africa. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is the stuff that we've been hid from all our lives. But now the truth coming out. Keep reading. And reform your hearts. Reform our hearts. We got to change our minds. Everything that we was taught was a lie. Everything we was taught was a lie. From the, from, the, from the image of Christ all the way down to the image of us. You know what I'm saying? You know. We, we, we are real people of God when everybody want to be us. Every movie you see about the Bible, is it a black man playing anything? Besides a slave? No. That's why Christ is just like us. We got like half wool. How you going to be white but you die a black man death? That's right. How you die with your hands up? With your mama watching? How you die like that and then you a white man? That don't make sense. That don't make sense. How is it that we're the ones that's told we got to let go of slavery? Oh, that was so long ago. But you're telling people forget about the Holocaust. You're telling people forget about 9-11. They'll curse you out. They won't even forgive Mike Vick. And we got to forgive them for what they did to us? You know what I'm saying? Mike Vick fought dogs. They fought us. They put us in human zoos. In New York, you ever been to New York? In New York, in the Bronx Zoo. We were the attractions. We were the ones that they was looking at. Boom, there you go. Look at this. Human zoos. All of these things that's happened to us. Look, they feeding the lady through a gate. Like an animal. You know what I'm saying? And you think this not about to come back on them? Thing is, they want us to stay asleep. Give me Judah 5 and 20. Judah, chapter 5, verse 20. Read. Now therefore, my lord and governor, if there be any error in this people. So this was a Chinese man running down our history to his general. So he's like, look. Say, yo, yo. So he was like, look, if there's any error, if there's any sin in this people, read. And they sin against their God. And we sin against the Most High God, read. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin, meaning this is going to be their downfall. If they're supposed to keep beers on their face and we tell them shave it off and they do, that's going to be their downfall. Read. And let us go up and we shall overcome them. Read on. But if there be no iniquity. But well, guess what? If there is no iniquity, read. In their nation, uh -huh. let my Lord now pass by. So if we not in sin, you better leave us alone. Read on. Lest their Lord defend them. Lest our God defend us. Just like he did with Egypt. Just like he did with Rome. Just like he's going to do with America. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. 
We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.